everyone. In this video, I'm going to be testing whether or not the lumberjack zombies will actually drop a t the calipers or the tool and die set. So now, I am going to leg out the game. Wow, this is fun. I'm just going to do that for testing purposes. Again, obviously this is in a cheat world. Okay, we got an auger blade. So they can drop auger parts, I imagine. Duster, some clothes. More clothes. Oh, and I set the uh, loot abundance to 200% uh, so that way hopefully we can find it faster uh, so BDU bottoms apparently those are good clothes types I believe not bad I usually don't wear armor I still got to test out to see whether or not armor actually does make a difference these days but apparently it does. Oh, so they can drop the hazmat suit as well. A steel pickaxe. Some more clothes. More of the hazmat outfit. Although, finding an auger blade was actually a really good find, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, steel, or er, iron fire axe. They look the same now. <laughs> Some more clothes. We'll drop off all this junk. Oops. Another leather duster. I think that was another auger blade. Oh, my scavenging skills is terrible, by the way. Uh, I think it's like level one or something like that. Uh, there it is. Ah, uh, level four. <laughs> so that's why the auger blades are really terrible. More clothes. A lot of tools. I used to find a lot of chainsaws, but um, yeah, let's see if I can change that. I got 35 points. Okay, with scavenger of 40, let's try that again. So that was 25 of them, and I still haven't found what I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry, that was really funny. <laughs> oh, cool. You can find grain alcohol. Save you a bit of corn. Some more clothes. After a while, clothes become really unimportant. I mean, they're good for cloth, I guess. Got some more grain alcohol. Uh, oh, some chainsaw parts. I'd prefer a full chainsaw, because then you can get an engine. More, more tools and clothes. So it looks like it's a really rare drop if, in fact, they do drop it. Let's go over here. I'm going to need more of these. So these are the two drops that... Or this bottom row is where I'm going to put drops that matter to me. Chainsaw doesn't really matter that much. I try not to expend gas when I don't have to. A steel fire axe works just as well. It's not quite as fast, but I find it does ch it does the job well enough that you don't really need a chainsaw, but that's my personal opinion. A lot of clothes.
Oh, got an engine. So, maybe it doesn't look like they're dropping uh, full chainsaws anymore. Got some military fiber. That will be good for um, the combat outfit if you start wearing that. And uh, more green alcohol. Another BDU piece. There we go, so 50 lumberjack zombies, and we still haven't found what we're looking for. I guess you could put that there too. Um, I did testing a while ago with the hazmat suit, and that does not work with the radiation zone. <laughs> or at least it didn't back then. It could be different now, but I doubt it. So oh yeah, that was that was about it for that. Okay, on to the next 25. So that was 50 of them and still no calipers or tool and die set. <laughs> Alright, well we got a, a hammer. This, by the way, I think is one of the most overpowered, well, I shouldn't say overpowered, the most OP weapon uh, for melee, in my experience anyways. I haven't tested them out a whole lot. I try and stick with ranged weapons, but after using the claw hammer, it seems to stun them pretty much every single hit. So, I've fallen in love with the claw hammer as a weapon again. Ah, lots of clothes. A lot of not so great drops, in my opinion, anyways. For the amount of effort that it takes to kill these guys, anyways. In a normal game. Oh, gotta steal Fire Axe for once. Another Iron Fire Axe. Nothing. Not a single thing. It must be an extremely rare drop. Yeah, whatever. I honestly don't need these with me. Come on. These were from doing a little test a long time ago. Yeah, there we go. Got another engine. No chainsaws though, so it doesn't look like we can find the full chainsaws anymore. That's too bad. That was great, because then you could get fuel as well. <laughs> but those days are gone. Alright, 75 lumberjacks, no tool and die set, and no calipers. Let me just toss this junk away. Eh, what the heck, I don't need those. Alright, on to the next 25. Uh, where did they go? There they are. But sorry for the loudness of their groaning. <laughs> I will make sure to turn that down. More clothes. These guys are like walking, walking lockers. More clothes. Oh, got a little bit of luggage. Two leather dusters, that guy was rolling in style. And still nothing. So this does not seem like a very viable way to get those things. I mean, it's great for engines and auger parts occasionally. At least it's a renewable resource now. A steel shovel, that's decent. Man, these guys are not dropping 
very good loot in my opinion at the moment. I wonder if that story would change with um, a hundred scavenging skill. Because that's usually what I roll around with. I try and get scavenging to a hundred as soon as possible. So that was a hundred lumberjacks and not a single one. I found... What was it? Two engines? I don't really care about those. Like, steel tools are great until you can make them. But, uh... Hmm. You gotta kill a lot of these guys just to get that. Out of a hundred, I found two engines, six grain alcohol, a couple steel tools. At least, oh yeah, I did. There it is. Two auger blades, a little bit of military fiber. Uh, that would be a lot of wasted time and effort if you're looking for the tool and die set or the calipers if they even drop it now but well, let's truck on they all decided to spawn on my head <laughs> I'll try and uh, shorten this video up as well lots of clothes I think some of them fell through the floor <laughs> or the roof whatever you want to call it Ooh, scavenging 41. It only took me 105 zombies. Nothing really of interest. Yeah, and not looking good. <laughs> I will persevere. Oh, a decent steel fire axe. Not the best, but... It will do. A lot of corpses here. What was that? Uh, another iron fire axe. Give you a lot of tools. Not very many useful tools anymore. Like not even a chainsaw. Not even a full chainsaw. What's up with this? Any of you guys fall through here? That nah, doesn't look like it. No, it looks alright. So that was 125 lumberjack zombies. Wow, not a single thing that I was looking for. Thank goodness. You know, I'm gonna put useful stuff up there. Now I don't have to run around and look through them all again. And that was from me. Uh, I guess I should, uh, <laughs> I should have, I'll just go like that. Whoops. So these were the things that were useful in my opinion. Out of 125 lumberjack zombies. Alright, let's uh, go for 150. Watch them all explode. And the reason I don't classify most of this stuff as useful is because by the time that you're actually trying to take these guys out, you should have most of this stuff. Or at least that's my my opinion. Because they're just, they're, they have so much health. So I don't recommend taking these guys on unless you're prepared. <laughs> and you can find most of this stuff in much easier locations. Unless you're seriously running out of tools. <laughs> but, honestly, after a while you get so much resources that it shouldn't, shouldn't matter. As long as you play it smart, you know. But. 
150. Not looking good. The only reason I consider grain alcohol a useful, well actually a couple of reasons. Uh, one for the stamina that it gives you for four hours and although it does decrease your wellness so be mindful of that. And also that it can be used to make um, gas. So if you can't find If you can't find oil shale, oops, then you can come in here, make some biofuel with animal fat and grain alcohol right here with corn meal, which you make from corn and bottled water. Once you have those two, then you can make gas. Doesn't seem to be showing me here. What is going on? Hold up. We seem to be missing something. Whoops. Not in the fuel. There we go. Whoops. What? Is this in your oops inventory now? Oh. Oh, okay. Well you just make it in your inventory I guess so yeah you just type in gas here and with biofuel grain alcohol you can make uh, I think it's a hundred hundred gas for each one of these oh wow you can carry a lot more bio biofuel now and grab some grain alcohol and I'll show you that quickly oh Yes, you need to read the gas can schematic before you can do that. So yeah, that makes 100 gas for 3 biofuel and 6 grain alcohol. And it's pretty quick. Not bad at all. I just wanted to explain that. Because uh, somebody asked why you wanted animal fat and corn. So that's that. And I know this was about the lumberjacks, but it seems to be a dud test. <laughs> we were at 150, right? I think that's correct. So 175. Because I'm spawning 25 at a time here. And that's why we're going in that number. As they all spawn in my head and leg me out, watch the explosion of lumberjack corpses. And some cool looking shades. Whoa, everybody disappeared. Phew. A lot of clothes. They're getting worse by the minute. I think I'm going to stop this at two, uh, at 200. <laughs> this seems like a really lost cause. Got some chainsaw parts. Apparently it's cold. Probably because it's raining. Um... But, yeah, no, this this test is not looking good. I mean, if you have to kill 200 lumberjacks just to get a tool and die set and calipers. That, oh, there we go. We got a full chainsaw. So you still can get the full chainsaw. That's good. I'm really glad to hear that. It's just a lot rarer now. Or maybe I had 100 scavenging when I was doing it. Whoa, where did everybody go? There we go. Random invisible corpses. Ooh, good uh, denim pants. Almost perfect. Perfection is my name. No, I'm just joking. I try for perfection, but it never happens. <laughs> uh, what the f... Apparently you can find a nail gun. Okay, so that's cool. That's definitely worth it if you cannot find the nail gun. Because there's been times where I've been looking through those working stiff crates for like 50 days and I've never found a nail gun. So in 175 lumberjack zombies I was able to find one chainsaw, one nail gun. Uh, so if you are prepared, these guys give really decent loot. Sometimes. Sometimes you'll get lucky and sometimes you won't. <laughs> I will classify this as a decent loot object. That's a really good loot object. Um, because, like I said before, you can get an engine. 
Sometimes it'll be a higher quality than the than the piece itself. Uh, do keep in mind to get it, you will need the chainsaw schematic, I should say. The chainsaw schematic. Alright, get rid of that. Oh, for anybody new that's watching this channel that hasn't seen uh, some of my other videos, schematics will also give you skills in the, in the skill that relates to it. So even if you have this schematic already, it is beneficial to read skill books if you're not maxed out because look, my science is now level 5 and I didn't even have to do anything. Uh, it gives you one skill point for each one, so that's a good way to increase your skills. And also, that means any of the skills that you can get with skill books, you don't necessarily have to dump skill points into them because you can find them as books. Of course, if you're looking to get it higher quicker, then it is still beneficial to use skill points for that. So, uh, let me drop off the junk. What was this? Auger parts. Those are useful. I don't use chainsaws, so I don't consider them useful. I was really surprised about that nail gun. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Oh, that's useful. Okay. So now, when you take apart the chainsaw, you just go here, assemble, it'll give you 200 gas, and you can take out this, well, it's over here, the engine. Also, you can get handlebars if you need those for something else. Now, the quality is not usually the best, but uh, just a little tidbit of information. So those were useful because of this chainsaw and auger parts. I pretty much have a full working auger now from 175 lumberjack zombies. Now I know that's an astronomical number, but it's still worth it in my opinion. So it, it means that all of these things are renewable resources, even if you destroyed all the working stiff crates by accident or whatever. Alright, so 200 um, snow zombies. Man, those guys hurt my ears. <laughs> A little explosion of zombies, like always. Oh, I forgot to put away the useful things from last looting. There we go. Show. I'm actually glad that uh, I found that out. I wasn't sure about that. That's uh, that's always good, you know. Do a test and be slightly surprised. Sometimes these tests don't work out very well. And I'll upload it if it's um, a concern for people, but if it's something that I just thought of on the spot, I usually won't upload it. Like, I, I tried to do this funnel test, and it failed miserably. <laughs> it didn't work at all. Um, so I ended up not uploading that video. I'm not going to waste everybody's time with redundant tests. So... Man, you get a lot of junk from these guys. Oh my goodness. I mean, you could scrap all of this for some cloth, honestly. Which is good if you want to make, um, well, I think first aid kits. Whoops. If I can type correctly. Yeah, because you're going to need cloth to make bandages. And then also repair kits. You'll need cloth fragment. As well as duct tape. So, it's always good to scrap these if you don't need them. And I think this gives you uh, iron. So yeah, shades are good to scrap for iron if they're of low quality. Just little tips. Hopefully that can help some people out with resource management in the future. Uh, da -da -da -da. Man. I was really hoping to find those those tools really a lot quicker than this. It's really kind of disheartening, but <laughs> we got a nail gun. <laughs> oh man, 200 of them. No luck. I didn't really find anything useful in that go. Okay, I was going to stop the test, but that nail gun gave me a second win. Wow, 25 minutes already. This is going to be a, a large file. I'll cut it down for everybody though, that's fine. Just the meat and potatoes.
Alright, 225 lumberjack zombies. Surely most people would quit by this point. <laughs> I know I know I probably wouldn't be able to kill 225 of these in any decent amount of time. In a regular game. Um I'm gonna go through this a bit quicker, so bear with me. We got an engine, good decent loot for the sixth time now. Last time wasn't so good. So you know, it's really all luck. It's all about your RNG, your random number generator luck. <laughs> sometimes you get really lucky, sometimes you really don't. Just how it goes. But. That's why we're here to help you, and hopefully we can turn luck to your side by just hopefully getting things done in a better fashion. That's the plan anyways. Because it's never fun to start the game out like I did, and run through it just dying constantly, and never getting anywhere. I had to restart this game so many times, which is what actually started this channel. Um... But, yeah, so, 225, no, no forge tools, that's no good, we got a, again, we got a nail gun, keep going back to that, sorry for the same commentary for the whole, for the whole episode here, 250, <laughs> oh man, this would be nuts to do in a real game, like, I don't expect anybody to kill 250 lumberjack zombies in one go ever. Quality one chainsaw parts, just what I needed. That's what I was looking for. Thanks, lumberjack zombie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever looted anything at quality one before. <laughs> Especially not chainsaw parts, anyways. Whole lot of nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. I have better odds with working stiff crates than this. Like, this... This is 200% loot abundance. This is ridiculous. This is... No. This... I, I don't see it happening. I honestly don't see it happening, and I'm I might I'm really considering calling this test really soon. I filled up like four crates here. Or, yeah, four. BDU. I don't know. Yay, level up. We will um, put those into scavenging. Oh, forgot one. Don't need that. Oh, to do to do. Okay, so... Probably should have waited for that to level up, but I don't care. Alrighty, 275? I'll give this to 300. By 300, if I don't find it, that means it's unfeasible. It's, it's not... Not worth it. And then as I play the game, I will try and make an update video or I'll post a comment on this video on whether or not I find... On whether or not I actually do find those forge tools on these guys. But 275 lumberjack kills. That's an insane number of zombies to kill for two pieces of equipment. And I do not suggest it. I really don't. There's just easier ways. There's I work on your base, loot other things. If you find an L gun from these dudes, that's perfect. That's something I consider going after, but anything else. Uh, these uh, this is good for if you're in a multiplayer world or on a server where everything has just been pillaged and there's no loot to be found anywhere then that's where these guys come in handy you can still find engines, chainsaws, chainsaw parts auger blades even 
So that means it's all renewable, even if people decided to, you know, destroy things. Not everybody is is nice, but I wish that everybody would be. Um, oh, 275, still nothing. Thank you, Thunder, for helping me with that point. <laughs> We're 30 minutes in, and I'm killing these dudes extremely quickly in ways that you would never be able to do, even with landmines. Even with a rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is incredibly nerfed, by the way. Uh, or at least it was last time I tested it out. <laughs> it's so underpowered. Okay, this is the final test. This is the last one. That's 30 minutes of recording already. Um, 300... 300 lumberjacks. If now is the time... If there ever was a time, this is now is the time. If I can speak correctly. Ooh, oh, hazmat gloves. So I can look like the uh, apocalypse hazmat dudes from killing 300 of these dudes. Well, no, actually, that's not true. I'm still missing one piece. <laughs> I found more useful things on a horde night, honestly. Okay, so that was 300 lumberjack zombies. It's now nighttime. I wasted the entire day searching for a tool and die set and the calipers, and I did not find them. However, I did find a few decent loot items, but for 300 of them, it does not seem feasible to me. Unless, of course, like I said before, you're in a multiplayer world and everything has just been pillaged away and this is your only source um, I will update the video once I figure out if in fact it is actually true that you can get the the tool and die set or the calipers so from 300 of them this was the most uh, this these were all the useful items that I found and of course incredibly I found a nail gun I was not expecting that at all and also auger parts I was not expecting that either um, another thing you can find all of mm, I don't think you can find the nail gun but or the full chainsaw uh, but you can find auger parts and engines and batteries in a loot container called garage storage as well they look like your regular cardboard boxes however they're just called garage storage uh, you can find them also by looting cars I know I've said this before and I apologize if this is not new to you but just looting cars uh, you can still find engines uh, batteries I believe you can find auger blades and auger parts in them as well and also the mini bike lock if you need one um, so if you have loot respawn enabled I would suggest leaving the, the cars alone um, except for this one obviously you cannot loot uh, this car if I can put it down there we go you cannot loot these ones, so you might as well just pull these ones apart. But the ones that you can loot, I would suggest leaving them alone if you have loot respawn enabled. Um, but honestly, that choice is up to you. You can pull them apart, but I try and leave them alone because there's only so many of them, right? Especially in Navis game, there's only so many of them. And then you don't want to spend your, your days killing lumberjack zombies trying to find these parts. So that was it for this test. It was kind of successful, but not quite in the way that I was expecting it to be. Um, 
So yeah, if you liked the video or if it helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Bye bye. <laughs>